So we're running low on time here, so we're going to take one last uh, question from online. Uh, Lance LaCroix asks uh, via Facebook, when will uh, SMRs, small modular nuclear reactors, become viable, and what are your thoughts on distributed electrical distribution? Well, I'm, I'm a big fan of small modular reactors for a co and, and let me define it. These are uh, small nuclear reactors at a scale of, let's say, 100 megawatts, maybe 150, 200, or less. Um, why? Because if you build a small modular reactor, it used to be that you drive down the cost by building a very big reactor because there are certain fixed costs, approvals, things like that. And so the reactors have gotten very big. They're uh, uh, a gigawatt, a thousand megawatts of power to one and a half uh, gigawatts, uh, 1,500 megawatts of power. Uh, they cost a lot of money, typically seven, eight billion dollars. Uh, they need a huge inf electricity infrastructure to take that one and a half gigawatts of power. Um, if you think of your utility company and everything you have in project and all of a sudden you're going to have to invest eight billion dollars, that's the large part of the asset allocation <laughs> of your company. You may want, and so what people are doing now is, as we do, they're, they're again doing partnerships. If you, if you can develop, and so the economy of scale by making big because of all the uh, other procedures, if you can make them, stamp them out in a single factory, ship them around the United States and around the world, you, you go to an economy of numbers that compensates for the economy of scale. That means that sites which are only designed to have, let's say, uh, 500 megawatts of power, you can have two modules or three modules, and that's the way we do it with gas and coal. A certain number of turbines and you size, right size it to the thing. And if it's stamped out identically, you have better control over the manufacturing because it's done in a factory prefab and it can be peer approved and, and so there are a lot of issues and it can be shipped internationally. Very, very big deal. So we think uh, it solves a lot of issues um, in terms of the capital investment, the electricity infrastructure, and so I'm very gung-ho on this, and we are trying to work and see if we can accelerate the development. And by the way, it's a way of the United States regaining its lead in nuclear technology. We built the first reactor in the world, Enrico Fermi. Uh, we were the leaders initially in nuclear reactors, but it, we are no longer the leaders. It's France and Japan and Korea. And now China wants to be the new leader. And so this is a way we can get back that technology lead. Okay. Well, thank you, Secretary Chu, and thanks for everyone uh, joining us.